Hey guys, so got another speed test spec comparison video. This time we're gonna be looking at the Sony Xperia XA Ultra versus the Samsung Galaxy Note 7. So let's go get started. Gonna power both these on at the same time. And both these phones are on the latest version of Marshmallow. Uh, they have all the system updates applied. Now the Note 7, of course, this is a flagship device. It's around 900 over $900 once you have tax and everything. Uh, whereas the XA Ultra, is a mid-ranger and it costs around $300 so uh, the Galaxy Note 7 costs around three times as much do expect it to do a lot better during the test but we'll see how it holds up all right so as you see here loading up a lot quicker than the uh, XA Ultra and the XA Ultra not that far behind I'd say All right, so let's go and get started. Uh, oh, and then let's just make sure that all the apps are closed out. They are. All right, so let's start with Temple Run 2. All okay, so this is pretty interesting. Looks like the XA Ultra is actually Wow, it looks like it's actually going to win the first test, uh, the first app test anyways. Uh, definitely surprising there, wasn't expecting that. Alright, let's, um, let's go ahead and load up some more apps. I'll do Chrome later, let's do CNN. So as you can see, both these phones have really large screens, 5.7 inches and Quad HD versus 6 inches and 1080p. So you see they're faster on Note 7. Let's do settings. Both fast, but faster on the Note 7. Uh, let's do iFunny. Tad bit faster on Note 7. Uh, YouTube. Actually, I think that might have been a little bit faster on the XA Ultra. Kind of hard to tell. Uh, let's go to calculator. Very close for both. Clock. Same result. Uh, calendar. Looks like a little bit faster there on the Note 7. Asphalt 8. So yeah, guys, in, ter um, in terms of internals, obviously Note 7 a lot better. It has a Snapdragon 820, 4GB RAM versus the MediaTek Helio P10 processor with 3GB RAM in the uh, XA Ultra. Wow, so yeah, the XA Ultra actually won that too. So as you see, sometimes it's not all about specs. I mean, I mean obviously with the... Uh, the Note 7, you know, you're going to get better gaming performance and stuff, but it might not necessarily be that much faster uh, in terms of just doing regular stuff. You know, for those of you guys who like games, of course, you're going to get better results on this, but other things like web browsing, which we'll get to in a minute, but it might not be that much better. So let's go to photos next. You know, this test is more about day-to-day -day use. Oh, you saw they're faster on the XA Ultra. And in a two door I ran earlier. So yeah guys, I mean obviously really big difference with the score. Uh, now this is more for like gaming, things like that. Let me just show you the ranking here. So you see first place, uh, really high score for the one plus three. Or sorry, for the uh, Galaxy Note 7. Right above the one plus three there. All right. Well, so far though, I mean, in terms of real world usage, I'd say that the XA Ultra is doing very well. Let's look at some more. Let's look at eBay. This app always takes a while to load up. 
All right, so actually it looks like it might have been a little bit faster again on the XA Ultra. Uh, let's bring up the camera on both these. Now in terms of camera, so the XA Ultra has a better front facing camera at 16 megapixels as OIS, flash, all that. Uh, versus 5 on the Galaxy Note 7. And then the rear facing camera, which we're going to do now, uh, it is 21.5 megapixels on the XA Ultra versus 12 on the Galaxy Note 7. So let me just try getting these on a similar resolution here. All right, only two options on the XA Ultra. There's 21 and 16. So I'm just gonna go with the Max, why not? Obviously the XA Ultra is gonna be pushing more megapixels, uh, but let's go with the Max on both. And guys, so this is just, I mean, this is just in terms of camera speed. If you wanna take your phone out of your pocket, take a picture real quick. But obviously there's much more to camera than just this. And we'll be having video comparisons on my channel. So yeah, clearly the Note 7 faster taking pictures. Alright, so let's look at some other stuff. Uh, I guess we'll go into Chrome next. All right, so let's go to Nintendo. All right, so faster on the XA Ultra. Again, guys, faster on the XA Ultra. Yeah, I was just making sure the Wi-Fi is on on there. It is. Uh, let's go to Yahoo next. Wow. <laughs> I mean, lightning faster on the XA Ultra. Um, we'll do IGN. Oops, press that too fast. Bear with me for one second, guys. I'm gonna go to IGN. And of course, mess it up again. <laughs> All right, one more try. Wow. <laughs> I mean, the XA Ultra Lightning fast there. Um. So yeah, guys, uh, interesting results. Let me just do a couple more things. Uh, so in terms of fingerprint scanner, now the um, XA Ultra doesn't have one. The Note 7 does. It's an excellent scanner. Show you some examples. Uh, it also has a new iris scanner at the top here. It's a lot more secure and it's using fingerprint. Uh, let's see, some of the specs I didn't cover yet. I think I covered most of them. Uh, in terms of battery, 2700 versus 3500 on the Note 7. Uh, micro USB at the bottom here on the XA Ultra versus USB Type-C. Uh, let me show you a little bit more of the build. So with the Note 7, you're getting a more premium build. Uh, you see glass everywhere. And then the XA Ultra is more of a polycarbonate material, but still pretty high quality for polycarbonate. And then you also have metal on the sides. Let's look more around the phones. All right. Um, so some other stuff, the XA Ultra is waterproof. Or sorry, the Note 7 is waterproof, the XA Ultra is not. 
Um, let's see. XA Ultra also has this pen here. I'll show you in one second. Just closing out of all the apps on both. Yeah, so this is an example of the S Pen. Uh, pretty cool feature here. So another thing also always on display. I love that feature. Uh, I'll take out the pen. So let's say, you know, I just have my phone on my desk, want to write a note. Want to remind myself, uh, like, you know, I don't know, pick up bread. I know, very really terrible handwriting there, but... I can either press there to save it, or I can press what I just pressed to pin it to the screen. And that's my new screen. So, awesome feature right there. Uh, in terms of storage, 16 gigabytes internal storage on the XA Ultra versus 64 uh, on the... I want to say one plus three again. On the uh, Galaxy Note 7, both have micro SD card support. Uh, and yeah, so I think that mostly covers it. Show you one last thing, show you the sound. All right, so there's some uh, quick samples here. Yeah, so I actually think, uh, I don't think either the speaker quality is that good, honestly, but they are both pretty loud compared to most of the other phones I have. Uh, I think that goes along with both being large phones. Uh, so yeah, guys, hopefully you found the video interesting. Again, the Galaxy Note 7 costs three times as much. Now, just so you guys know, I do really like the Galaxy Note 7. Uh, despite the results of this test, I don't actually think that it did worse than I was expecting. Uh, still an excellent phone and of course when you're actually like doing more the high-end stuff like the gaming uh, You are going to get better much better results uh, But in terms of a lot of the day-to-day -day usage, I thought that the Xperia XA Ultra did excellent Now for the Xperia XA Ultra um, As I stated in the review for this, I think that this is an excellent value for the phone I think out of the entire X series that this is the best value uh, Not necessarily the best I think obviously we have it over here, the Xperia X performance. So this is the best phone in the X series. But in terms of value for your money, the X Ultra really is excellent. Um, so yeah, guys, let me know in the comments what you think of the test. Again, I think XA Ultra did excellent here. I uh, will be having a lot more videos for both of these phones. Uh, please subscribe if you aren't already, if you want to see more videos like this. And as always, thanks for watching.